Hello, welcome to Leo Seasons Reading. I know I'm fashionably really late, right? At least I'm still in. I have no idea what the date is. Anyway, I'm late, but only a few days. Um, everybody, this is an all signs read for Leo season. It's going to be very short and sweet. Um, so if this resonates with you a good deal, if not, don't worry about it. Just boop your nose, way you go. But this is how the season's going to go from now until... Who the fuck comes after the Virgo? Yeah, no, 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 that's not Virgo. It is, is it Virgo? Yeah, it's Virgo because fire comes after Earth. Okay, or before Earth, whatever. Anyway. Page of arrows and the cat reverse. This cat looks like a scary cat, but I think it's not afraid of my thing. You know? This wren is chirping about this kitty cat. Actually, what is the cat? Because I've never actually gotten this one before. Um, here's my book. Where's my book? Here it is. Number 19. Confidence. So there's a lack of confidence? Because that cat doesn't make... <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, so there might be a lack of confidence that someone might be talking or chirping about? We have the four vessels reversed in hair. Someone doesn't want to be bored anymore. And I feel like this hair represents, like, either, um, a connection. Because back in the day, they used to, like, collect people's hair. Other loved ones and keep them forever. I feel like someone doesn't want to stay bored. Some people, anyway. Um, you might be dealing with some healing with the Seven of Stones from the Green Witch Bitch. And Horseshoe. She might be incredibly lucky with it. Could be healing you, you could be healing them, whatever. Well, someone's getting it, right? Last but not least, the Wanderer and the Beetle Reverse. I, usually this is like a shield or protection or something. I feel like someone's going on a journey to release what's guarding them. They might be becoming a little bit vulnerable. Even though they lack the confidence, they're tired of being bored and they want to go to the person who's hair. They got the Green witch bitch here healing, or they're healing with the green witch bitch. What are the whatever's I've just said? Yes, I will get to the rest of the zodiacs when I get the chance. I just haven't, but it'll probably be a four way like this for the last four, just so I can get them out quicker. That'll be water signs. Sorry, water, but I'll make sure you guys are first next time, okay? Okay. You guys are never first, if I remember correctly. Alright, the wren with the cat reverse. Someone's like saying they don't have enough confidence. That's because they're keeping themselves at a crossroad, right? Some folk might be. There could be an energy of feeling like you don't have the confidence. Which is crazy, because it's Leo season, right? Let me tell you, my Sag rising has been a fucking monster. I've had so many people come up trying to preach to me, to philosophize to me, to tell me what I do and do not know, telling me that I don't know enough, even though I do. Like, today, for example, I actually had some chick tell me that I don't understand racism, but she didn't realize I was black because it was online. And I'm sitting there like, well, leave it to a white person to tell me how I feel as a black person. And then she's just like, oh, well, if I had known you were black, you are going to say the same thing. And I was just like, no, you wouldn't. Like, don't even start that. The other day, there was some chick who, like, decided to take my joke and use it to make a giant conspiracy theory, and I was just like, dude, like, I was just making a joke. So she called me ignorant, said oh, she was just trying to co have a conversation, and I just wanted to be right, and I was sitting there like, you're weird for wanting a conversation, but not actually, like, talking to a person, and, you know, when you have a conversation, you talk, you wait six seconds, then the other person talks. That's how a conversation works. You don't just go and, like, ramble on and then get mad when someone just explains to you simply, you know, like, I really wasn't even trying to go into some weird shit. I don't know. People are acting weird this season. Maybe it's because, like, Aries is in, or Mars is in Aries, because everyone seems combative. I'm definitely, like, feeling combative. But it seems like the lack of confidence is causing people to be at a standstill. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was Fat Cat. He just came in the room. What else? 
Yeah, it's causing you to feel frozen somewhat. Or someone, or some people are feeling a little bit frozen, like they don't want to pass the dragon. Like, you know what? I don't need to take any action here. Just like it feels like a fight or something. But like someone doesn't want to fight. Like words could have some issue. Like yeah, like I was saying, like words. Words, words, words. People don't. It's like people don't feel confident enough in their shit, so they might be bleh at you, right? Feeling justified with it, y'all. I feel like um, people are lacking. As I was saying before, people are lacking confidence in what you say, I think, and they don't really give a shit about what you say. You might be hung up feeling like, you know, like, oh, well, like, you know, I can't have a conversation with these folk. But I just want to remind you that these people are not a provider of yours. Um, they're probably not exactly faithful. They, they're eating a cake made out of shit. They don't even know it's made out of shit. They're about to eat that bitch. They took a whole cake, not even thinking, you know, like... They want the whole cake. They'll only give you a slice. Like, it's like people around you are confident. So they take that and blah at you. It's like they want it. Like, yeah, okay. That's why the Ren isn't very confident. It's like these people talk shit, but it's like as soon as you sit there and actually try to have a conversation with people, um, they don't like that. And you might notice that it's like at a standstill and you really, there's no point in like even trying to get past this dragon, honestly. Um, is it justified to keep going with these people or should you just shut the fuck up and just let them do whatever the fuck they want to do? Because honestly, I'm one of those people like, you know, if I ain't got nothing to say, I don't say anything at all. Like, what's the point? I mean, if you say something once, why say it again? I say as I repeat myself several times in every video. Oh. Okay, four vessels reversed with the hair. Someone doesn't want to be bored anymore, and they got, I feel like, a lock of hair, possibly from a lover. Some. Got options. People got options. Hmm. Y'all, I think that people want your attention. They also want your hair in case you, like, piss them off so they can do a spell with that shit, too. But that's beside the point. That's just my witch-ass, like, conspiratizing, right? But it seems like people want your attention, and they're giving you options for that, too. Like, just throwing shit in your face. Like, look at this hoe right here. Look at this old bitty bitch. Like, she's just looking at the camera like, oh yeah, look at all these options I have. Ain't I awesome? While the person's just distracted by everything you're putting out, be like, what am I supposed to, what, what the fuck do you want me to do with all this? Oh, you'll know, just pick whatever. You know, I feel like someone's trying, some people are trying to get your attention and just throw whatever in your face about it. Wanting to make choices for you, maybe? Trying to cause you to decide some shit. But not really offering anything that doesn't seem like it's drug induced, you know, it's like Hmm. I always think that he's fucked up on something coming in just gushing shit, but it's like it's very um immature. It's very unwarranted. Hmm. I'm gonna make you a crazy cat lady. I love that she has, like, multiple cats. It's just like, oh my god, that is so me. I love this one. I almost love her as much as Fanny Mae. But she has kitties, so it's even better. Yeah, I feel like people are throwing options in your face, with, and you get to make the choice on how you handle it. But I also feel like that if you're like me, you're going to possibly come off as emotional. You could have possibly come off as people are thinking, oh, well, you're too far into it. But in reality, it's like, you know... You're trying to entertain some people, but for some reason they don't like the way you're entertaining them, right? So then they get all in their feelings with the Knight of Cups. Seven of Stones healing with this horseshoe. Might be a green witch bitch around you that's healing, or maybe you need to do this with people, and you. And it might just be that, like, you have such great healing capabilities, 
you're a good luck charm for people. You, like, you know, horseshoes keep the fae away. Please remember that. There might be illusions that people are getting overwhelmed with, right? Like, you could help somebody, and they will take that shit so far. Forcing you to have to walk away regardless of whether how you feel about the shit or not. Like you got your shit, it's time to go. Or they're trying to get something from you. Yeah, because there's really no way to work any of this shit out. People aren't co gonna be cooperating very well. People aren't really like people are in the fire energy, right? That Leo energy where it's like, if it's not my way, I don't want it no ways. You know, like, because Leo has that tendency of, like, you know, like, you have to do things their way. Like, or, like they can be as bad as Aries because they got the ego. Whereas, like, you know, like, I don't know, Aries and Capricorn have a lot in common, but we're always in competition with each other. But I, which is probably my problem right now in the fire season. It's like everyone thinks I'm competing, arguing with them. And it happens, like, usually in Leo season, but this time it's different because Aries is in Mars, or Mars is in Aries. So now everyone's in a battle, right? Everyone's going on illusions, or maybe some people are delusional that they're helping people, you know? Let's see. Like, look. There could be people who believe that they're healers, and they could be sitting here being like, I'm your good luck horse shield. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to help you, just like my father. I'm going to do whatever it takes to help you out, right? But that illusion is bigger than what it is, you know? Like, you're the witch, flying away. You scratch that bowl, sir. You scratch that bowl. That's what you do. Um, like, that's a big-ass illusion, possibly, bigger than what it's actually supposed to be. Once you see it, you're, it, it's exposed as, like, not a gentle kitty, but it's someone who's literally looking for prey. And if you don't give them what they want, they're going to walk away from you regardless and not really attempt to work anything out that would establish any sort of foundation, right? The Wanderer with the Beetle. This season might actually be teaching people how to um, deal with their vulnerabilities, which I think is the major problem. Everybody's burdened by this shit. Look at this kitty being like, you can do it. Oh, I'm so bad. You can do it. You know? Everyone's burdened by their own vulnerability. Like, I, I really feel like everyone's having their vulnerabilities pushed onto them and being tested and being forced to, like, look at what makes you your identity right now. Like, because, like, Leo is the sun. It's a, it's a fucking star. Like, it's, like... The sun sign is the sun, you know? So everyone's done with their identity, their self, and whatever. And I feel like everyone's getting pushed to their boundaries with their identity, with who they are, with the self-image that they carry in their head, which is terrible because I really don't have one. That's why I need a mirror. Ugh. Yeah, they're all burned because it doesn't seem like they're... Sh like, people aren't feeling like they're beginning something new. And a lot of people might feel like they aren't getting able to start something. Or maybe there's something fucked up with this Ace of Wands right here. So they want to escape somehow. Hmm. That's crazy. It goes from the 10 to the 8, but the Ace is reversed. It's kind of like... They're burdened because they can't start something, or maybe they feel like they can't, like, go through with it, and, like, they just have this feeling of wanting to escape. Like, I'm not facing my vulnerabilities. I'm gonna go. We'll leave people to drown. That's for fuck sure. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Play fire for new season. D. D. Oh, sorry. D. Me. You're gonna learn how not to drown and then the shit, you know? Yeah, it feels like everyone's kind of getting shit. Everyone's getting, um, what makes them solid, what makes them themselves. I feel like it's almost like a transformation thing, you know? Because Aries is like the very first sign. It's the start. It's the baby. 
It's also the sign of war, so I'm really shocked the tower hasn't popped out in any of my readings just yet, really, except for the ones I've already done. Oh, over here, the first row, Hangman reverse, Knight of Wands reverse, and the Justice card. People are just closing the door when they don't get their way. Be like, oh, I'm gonna go. People are opening up. Or people are closing the door on Temptations. Could be with a Capricorn. Or Capricorn energy right here. Um, someone might be slamming the door. Could involve the Capricorn when it comes to Temptation. Or someone's closing the door so that way they can get it on. Like, they're not willing to um, hear other people out because the Four of Wands can represent Gemini, too. They're not willing to let things go. Um, they're closing the door and they just want to feed their self-indulgences or vices or bad behaviors. Only in hopes to, like, get something delivered. You know, they don't want to hear possibly what you have to say. They want you to listen to what they have to say. And then they expect a reward for that shit. Mm. But then they want to leave and try to make you feel all sad if you don't do what they want you to do. That's nice. That's fucking stupid. It's like guilt trip almost, right? Okay. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups Reverse. Like, people are throwing options in your face, making you try to choose. And then, like, just fucking off when you don't want any of it. I feel like I feel like you don't want any of these options. You're just throwing it in your face in order to distract you. Oh my god. <clears throat> you need some work. They're not letting that go. They, like, people are probably being like, there's something wrong with you, you need work done to you, and they're not releasing that shit. Um... Mainly because they got problems of their own, you know. If someone tries to change you, that means there's something wrong with them. You shouldn't try to change anybody. They know this shit, but then they're going to act like they don't know. That's like, which is a major problem. And look who's trying to poke out again. They're haunted. I feel like. It feels like someone's haunted. Like, people want to be like, you're the one who needs to learn something. You're the one that needs to do this. Um, I know this thing. I know that thing. I know you got chips in you. We're going to do whatever. Like, it's like they're pointing out your flaws or whatever, not letting it go. Um, but it, they want to act like they didn't know how you respond to this, this comment. They want to be like, oh, I didn't know this was going to happen. Bitch, you're the high priestess. You knew exactly what the fuck was going to happen, you know? She knows. She always knows. It's just that she's pretending or acting stupid or, you know, I don't know. But it's almost like saving their own ass, too, because it's just like you already know that this isn't going to work. You already know that it's probably offensive, but you're still going to do it anyway. You're not going to let the shit go. Like, people are not compromising at all right now. All right. Moon reverse. Eight of cups. Three of pentacles reverse. These people are maybe delusional. Maybe people are going through delusions. Then they'll walk away once again. Three of Pentacles, but this time it's reversed because their efforts don't work. Which is their fault, you know. Like, you shouldn't be trying anyway. I'm like, I can heal you. I didn't ask you, bitch. It's my job to heal myself. You know? You're just helping me with the process. I'm the one who ultimately uses my body and mind to do the work. Oof, that's a big oof right there. They do not like your response. That's for sure. Um, you tell people just to back up. They are not going to take kindly to that. It's like I was saying earlier. Um, they'll get combative. They'll get hostile. They'll be like, oh, well, you just be that way. I mean, it's kind of an ugly way to be, honestly. They don't like your response at all. Because you're not fulfilling their wish. You're supposed to serve them night and day. You're supposed to feed into their fucking egos. You're supposed to give them wish fulfillment. Well, nah, no, no, no. They think it's something that, like, you know, should be done. 
but you're not their servant. And like, dude is on the side, on the same side as the guy with the uh, wand just coming in to beat some ass for the Lord, right? Like, like you better come over here and do whatever the fuck I want you to do. That's ugly. So ugly. Yeah, and that shit does not work in their favor either. It, that's actually a very terrible idea. I'll tell you what, man. There was this one chick who completely, like, just got under my skin. <clears throat> because she wouldn't listen. And I was... I, I was about to take like a couple of chicken feet and nail them to a picture of her because I, I was really thinking about it because you know like left hand path gives you no fucks don't fuck with me I don't give a shit uh, three fold wall does not bother me at all and I asked you know my people like can I do that and every time it was like no so I was just like well why and then like you know seven of swords the tower and the death card all came out. These people who are doing this shit around you, to you, and if it is you, please don't let it be you. Um, their shit is not going to work. It is probably going to come back with a consequence, right? And then they're going to want to run back home with daddy so he makes them feel better. We'll beat their ass, one of the two. Like they just run away. Don't even tell their parents what the fuck they're doing. It's like, because, like, they're trying so hard to convince you of what they fucking believe and what they think is true, um, a lot of you might be protected enough to where that shit don't work on you. It's just like, don't at me, bro. I don't give a shit. You know? Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands reversed and the Six of Swords. Someone's burdened, or some people are burdened. Because whatever they try to create within this scenario right here, like, whatever starts it off goes haywire. And then it's just like, I must flee. I must disappear. You know? Just looking back at you like, you know, like, you're supposed to catch after him or some shit. Oof. Yeah. Um... Because they can't get over some bullshit. And I feel like they almost feel like they're chosen. Which is like, okay. Or maybe they're angry that you're more, um... Maybe they're mad that you're chosen. Because it seems like they'll do anything to stop that shit. It's like they can't get over that fact, right? And it drives them crazy, crazy, crazy. Easy peasy. I'll drop one more. Yeah, and then they go crazy, and once again, they, they, they leave you there wondering what the fuck is up with your emotions. Well, they're the one walking away because they're the ones that lost their shit. This is definitely one of those readings. Ah, oh, and then they get caught up in their traps. Look at that shit. Mm -mm -mm. But that's what I mean. It's like you guys might, everybody might end up dealing with people who are constantly pushing their idealism onto you. You might do this to other people. It's so whatever. But everyone's conflicting themselves with their self to the point where it's going to create war. And you're gonna to want to fight people on Facebook like I've been doing for the past two days. And I don't even know why. Normally I don't engage in like bullshit, but this season has just been like, you know, driving me nuts. Like people be saying stupid shit. You don't know anything about racism and black people, bitch. I yeah, yeah. We got the moon here. Calipers. The pin cushion. I don't know what the pin cushion is. I think I've gotten it before, but I don't remember it. Eleven. Fifty-five. Order. Hmm. What's the name then? Okay. So 
there might be some secrecy and predictability here. You need to be careful planning. Because, you know, there's no order in this shit at all. You guys might have to keep your plans secret for a bit. You might not want to tell anybody what you're doing. You know, because let me be clear. The ultimate sense of self, to establish your own sense of self, is not telling a person that fucking thing. Which is really hard to do to say that. But I feel like that's it. It's like, you know what? Distract people with what the fuck. But don't let them know what you're actually doing. Because I feel like once you let people know what you're doing, they're going to keep trying to infect your shit. Into like, their sense of self becomes your sense of self. So you have to be extremely careful. Um, keep your plans close to your chest and don't let people know shit. Pretend you're interested in other things. Pretend other things are important, but don't let people know what you're doing. But that was a reading for Leo season, so I hope this helps you guys out. Sorry things have been hectic and crazy, but I will see you later. Bye-bye. Love your face.